If you were at the ocean front around midday, you may have seen something out of the ordinary. A giant inflatable contraceptive was on display for everyone to see. 10 on your side, Kiana Patterson has more on the message from the organizers of this event. Oh yes, Regina, this is certainly a conversation starter right at the ocean front. Now it's on its way north. Now this display is part of America's for Contraceptions cross country tour. From DC to Nashville, Miami, and now Virginia Beach. Her name is Frida. She is making the way across the country. This 20 foot IUD is up to send a message to protect Americans right to birth control, like the pill, plan B, condoms, and IUDs. I have an IUD, um, not as big as that one, but I love my IUD and I want to be able to um, continue to get another one. Julie O'Brien stopped by the 24th Street stage to read the signs that say, first they came for abortion, then IVF, now contraception. I, if I decide to have children, I want my future daughters to be able to have access to uh, getting an IUD. Organizers say the goal is to educate people. This comes after Governor Glenn Youngkin vetoed two bills that would have protected Virginians access to contraception. In his veto statement, Governor Youngkin says while he supports contraception access, the bills create a quote overly broad cause of action that would allow patients to sue medical professionals against quote their expert judgment and it does not allow enough protections for those with religious ethical and moral beliefs adding any contraception related changes must be coupled with robust conscious clause protections for providers and must uphold the fundamental right of parents to make decisions concerning their children's upbringing and care Delegate Sia Price of Newport News shares her reaction to the veto. So unfortunately, the governor's statement is absolutely misleading. There are already protections on the federal level for those that have religious objections. Price wrote the House version of the bill and helped bring the display to Virginia. I hope people will look at it and think of people like me that need our IUDs in order to function, um, people that need contraception in order to determine if, when, and how they want to have a family, and the fact for it to remind us that the rights that we have today cannot be taken for granted. Price now plans to reintroduce the bill again with hopes that any miscommunications will be overcome. It really just shows um, how out of touch some of these politicians are with what everyday American people want. And if you missed it today, the 20 foot display will be in Richmond tomorrow from 11 until two. There will also be a press conference in the morning at the Richmond Capitol at Bell Tower. Kiana Patterson, turn on your side.